somehow I have Irish days on two of my channels today, but in this case it's uh, probably for my Irish viewers not that pleasant, but I would have talked about this if it wasn't Ireland, uh, so don't worry. The Luxembourg national team had to wait almost 13 years for this day. In a surprising 1-0 win in the World Cup qualification against Ireland, the football dwarf celebrated its first away win in a competitive game since September 2008 in Dublin against Switzerland. The footballers of the Grand Duchy had only three wins in 124 qualifying matches for World Cup or European t uh, Championship and also 10 draws and 111 defeats. Most recently, Luxembourg had no win in 28 away games. The late 1-0 in Ireland was achieved by Portugal-born Gerson Rodriguez in the 85th minute. For the Irish, it was already the second defeat in the second group game after the 2-3 in Serbia. Trainer Stephen Kenny, in office since April 2020, has been waiting for his first win in 10 games. And don't worry, I would have said the same if Lichten, uh, not Liechtenstein, if Iceland would have kicked the German team last week. I would have presented it here as well because it's nice for for the smaller countries, especially would be a sensation with the Faroe Islands, for example, or Liechtenstein. Um, that's always worth a message in my um, point of view from the outside, and uh, it's interesting that these qualifying things at the moment bring up some surprises for example um, it's not the qualifying but last time um, before this qualifications the Germans got kicked 6-0 I think it was by by Spain it was a different kind of, of uh, adversary but still that was a defeat that is not normal and at the moment they are not on top of the list as well I, I watched the last two games of the German um, team and uh, I must say our under-21s are doing much better at the moment at their um, uh, cup than, than uh, our grown-up national team, I must say. No matter the, the outcome, I, I mean the way they are playing. And if you want to stay informed not only about football but all the political stuff on, that's going on globally, please sub uh, subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.